Today we are going to be looking at the sensory motor stage. This stage, as described by Jean Piaget, covers the first two years of life. It is divided into six substages. This stage takes a human from a newborn to a toddler. Infants and toddlers think with their sensory and motor systems, and this will look at their development. Stage 1. This stage goes from birth to one month old. At this stage, they are often referred to as neonates or newborns. Newborns in this stage have reflexive movements. These movements include sucking, grasping, and even orienting. These movements are inflexible. There is no accommodation at this stage. Therefore, the movements are random. Stage 2. This stage covers 1 to 4 months old. At this stage, original reflexes become sensory motor schemes. These schemes become more refined at this stage. Also, in this stage, accommodation begins to occur, which in turn leads to a greater range of actions that the baby can perform. The schemes help the infant understand the world that they live in. In the previous stage, actions were independent and random, but now the schemes have become coordinated. For example, a child could hear a noise and orients toward it, or they see an object and then touch it. During this stage, infants develop primary circular reactions. Some of these actions include an infant sucking their thumb, making habitual utterances, or being in a jumper where they flex their legs. Also, at this stage, infants are exploratory and develop new schemes. This stage covers a baby from 4 to 8 months old. At this stage, babies develop secondary circular reactions. These reactions include repetition and the development of dropping and throwing schemes. Also, babies are learning that their actions have reactions, as in hitting a hanging toy or mobile and seeing that it moves when hit, and that cooing makes their mom smile. It is also important to note that at this stage, the actions are not intentional. Also, infants are learning that they are separate from the rest of the world. Stage 4. This stage looks at babies who are 8 to 12 months old. At this stage, the baby's behavior becomes intentional and goal-oriented. They are also coordinating their schemes at this stage. This means that an independent scheme has now been combined to achieve a goal. Also, at this stage, babies develop object permanence, which is the belief that an object exists even though they cannot see it. This is indicated through active searching for the hidden object. At this stage, infants have still not fully grasped this concept. The A not B error is when infants look for an object in its original hiding spot instead of looking for it in the most recent place that it was hidden. Substage 5. This stage covers 12 to 18 months old. At this stage, babies develop tertiary circular reactions, which means they are repeating actions and behaviors, but with more variation. At this stage, they are experimenting with the world. They are searching everywhere, which means that at this stage, they solve the A not B error. Also, they are imitating, which means that they have a larger repertoire of actions. Tertiary circular reactions are more flexible. They also have pleasing results. These results lead a child to want to repeat the action so that they can receive a similar result. Substage 6. This stage covers 18 to 24 months. At this stage, toddlers are able to hold mental representations in their mind. They are able to solve advanced object permanence problems, such as invisible displacement, and they are able to join in make-believe play. Make-believe play is also known as symbolic play, which is when a child uses one thing to stand for something else. An example of this is when they use a teacup and pretend to be at a fancy tea party where they're actually drinking tea. Another thing that they face during substage 6 is deferred imitation, which is the imitation of a model observed sometime in the past. This would be like a child seeing one thing at the beginning of the week and being able to imitate it at the end of the week. To conclude, the sensory motor stage takes someone from being a newborn to being a toddler. They begin with random movements which develop into coordinated schemes. The six substages give a detailed look at development within the first two years of life.
Thank you for watching.